So let's talk about self-care. And that can be anything from a hot bubble bath right up to saying, no, I'm taking the day off and I'm gonna do something that I absolutely love and what fills me with joy. So self-care, it's so key to make sure that we're proactive with it at all times. What I find with my coaching clients is when they come to me, they only put the self-care in when they're burnt out and exhausted. Self-care is something that is actually a boundary. It's non-negotiable. It needs to be there all the time. So let me give you a visual on that. It might help. If you think of a bank balance and you think about starting at zero, and then self-care, you get these green credits. So maybe sleep is, you get some credit. Maybe eating wells credit. Physical exercise, you get a credit. It could be meditation, it could be journaling, getting outside, yoga, boxercise, whatever it is. So we're in the credit. Then that red stuff comes in called stress. And as that comes in, this goes a bit like this. So what that does, if you're proactive with your self-care, you're in a better, more resilient emotionally and physically position to deal with those stresses that we talked about earlier. So what we don't want to do is ever get into a deficit. I'd love for you to make a list of all the things that bring you joy. And remember, alone time can be really, really key. Sometimes we need alone time just to get our thoughts together, decompress and just think about ourselves because we are number one in all of this. It comes from us. We must prioritise ourselves in order to be good role models as well as make sure our stress, our anxiety and our overwhelm is at bay. As we head into the Christmas period, I know that the commitments rise and rise and there's expectations on us to do more and more and more because there is more to do. As an entrepreneur, it's really, really hard to say no to things. And also, as um, a high exec or a CEO, you're thinking of that next business opportunity or that next possible client that we're gonna bring in. But what we have to always remember is that there are other people affected by our decisions. And no sometimes has to be the answer. And no is a complete sentence. We can do that in a very kind and safe way. We don't need to go, no, I'm not doing it. We could maybe say, I'll get back to you. Let me check my diary got a bit of a busy period going on or it could be well I can't do it next week but if you're happy to wait until maybe a couple of weeks I can give you all my time and attention 